I don't want really bright clouds because I want to put a lot of sun rays coming down into the water. I want a daytime scene. I don't want to make it look like it's right at sunset, but but I, you know, something I, I like to do is cheat a little bit. I like to call it cheating. You know, something you'll never find in a photo is, is both brightly lit water and the colorful clouds because the colorful clouds happen at a dark time of day when you don't have a lot of light going into the water, but it's a painting. We can try to get the best of both options as long as it looks good. picture is to really really make the depth like I guess every picture I love getting as much depth as possible because when you have depth in a picture you have information you, you have your two-dimensional scene multiplied by the depth that is represented because the imagination wanders and, and, and tries to go around corners to see what's what's behind things and beyond things as long as the depth is believable. So this is one of the key components of good depth in just the atmosphere itself. Even if there were no objects, no layers of landscape under this water, I could achieve some depth in my atmosphere just by accomplishing a gradient that preserves the color in the midtone. That is, that is a very crucial component of having good depth in an atmosphere. So if you're painting uh, an atmosphere like this, you're blending away at your colors and it is looking very flat. Your gradient is not feeling like an atmosphere you can go into. It may be because the color is missing in the midtone. You really need to have a separate midtone color if you want to have this illuminated atmosphere look. three-dimensional scene and I'm losing my organic flow. So I'm gonna make a shadow. This is the edge of my of my big rock and I've gotta keep my paint heavy enough that it stays wet because I'm gonna build different things out of this shadow. I have to just, I have to just ignore the, what I've already painted. It was practice. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna create ridges coming down. You can see I've got the look of some ridges. I really liked that. That was, that was a, a fun thing that ended up happening while I was playing with these colors. And so I like the look of ridges. So in order to get a three dimensional look, I'm gonna make ridges coming around like this. So you'll see the curve coming down and I'll make lighter spots emerging out of that. So let's grab some lighter colors. And I think it's like, uh, any color, really, just grab a lighter color, whatever you want to see. There we go. Okay, so I've got a lot of room to get brighter still, so let's grab some white, and let's make, um, let's make a brighter stem coming right off of this one. Gets darker as it goes down, look at that. That's kind of fun. Put another one here. And another one going across here, maybe. Mm -hmm. 